Saxon Course 2, Lesson 98, is on scale and scale factor. So a model airplane is built with a scale of 1 to 24. If the wingspan of the model is 18 inches, the wingspan of the actual airplane is how many feet? So the scale indicates that the dimensions of the actual airplane are 24 times the scale of our model. Okay. So the model is measured in inches, but the question asks for the wingspan in feet. So we're going to divide our product of 18 and 24 by 12. Okay, because we're going to do the 18 inches. We're going to times that by the 24 and divide that by 12. And so my answer is 36 feet. Okay. And so that's the length of the wingspan. That's one way we can do it. Another way is that we can create a ratio box, as we have with all other ratio problems. Okay. So here, I'm going to have the scale model, and I'm going to have the, act and, so the scale and the measure. Okay. So I have the model and then the actual object, or the two things I'm measuring. So the scale is 1 to 24. And then I know that my model is 18 inches. And I want to figure out the length of the wingspan. So I can then change this into a proportion. So I have 1 over 24 equals 18 over W. Do my cross products, and I end up with W equals 24 times 18, which is equal to 432. Now this is going to be in inches, so I need to change that into feet. So I'm going to take the 432 inches and divide it by 12 inches, okay? And I end up with, oops, changing this into feet. So that would equal 36 feet. Okay. All right, so this one, Sophia is molding a model of a car from clay. The scale of the model is 1 to 36. If the height of the car is 4 feet 6 inches, what should the height of the model be in inches? Okay. So first I'm going to change, convert one, 4 feet 6 inches into inches. So I need to change the 4 feet into inches, and we do that by doing 4 times 12. And then we're going to add that 6 inches. So 4 times 12 is 48, plus 6 is 54 inches. Okay, now we're going to create a ratio box so I can figure out how tall my model should be. So we have the scale in the first, and then the measure, and then my model, and the actual object. Okay, so the scale is 1 to 36, and then I don't know how big my model is, but the object, which is the car, is 54 inches tall. So change that into proportion. 1 over 36 equals m over 54. We do our cross products. I get 36m equals 54. So m equals 54 over 36, which when we reduce, it ends up being 1 and 1 half inches tall. Okay. So scale factor is a proportion, it's a way to solve proportions more quickly. Okay, So the scale factor is the number of times larger or smaller the terms of one ratio are when compared to another ratio. So for this one we have 3 over 7 equals 15 over n. So I can think 3 times what equals 15? 3 times 5 equals 15. So if I multiply the numerator by 5, I have to multiply the, de the denominator by 5. So 7 times 5 is equals 35. So n equals 35. So that would be 15 over 35. Okay. 
and that can be a lot easier than doing the cross products. Okay, all right, so these two tri triangles are similar. Calculate the scale factor from the smaller triangle to the larger triangle. So we're going to multiply the length of one side of the smaller triangle by the scale factor to get the length of the other side of the larger triangle. Okay, so we would have one of the sides of triangle A. So I'm going to choose 20. Okay, so I have 20 times some scale factor is going to equal 25 on this side. Okay, so to figure out what that scale factor is, I'm going to divide both sides by 20. So F equals 25 over 20, which reduces to 5 fourths, which could be 1 and 1 fourth, or even 1.25. Okay, either of those are correct. So this is the scale factor when changing from the smaller triangle to the larger triangle. So here, we have the smaller of the two rectangular prisms has the dimensions of 2 centimeters by 3 centimeters by 4 centimeters, and the largest rectangle is 6 centimeters by 9 centimeters by 12 centimeters. So first wants us to know, wants us to figure out what is the scale factor from the smaller to the larger triangle, or rectangle. Okay, so I'm going to pick a side. So I'm going to pick this side here and this side here. So I'm going to think 2 times some scale factor is going to be equal to 6. So we know that the scale factor is 3. So the scale factor is 3 times bigger. This, this, the larger rectangle is 3 times bigger than the smaller, fact, smaller one. Okay. For B, the area of any face of the larger prism is about how many times the area of the corresponding face of the smaller side. Since the scale factor from the smaller to the larger figure is 3, the area of any face of the larger figure should be 3 squared, 9 times the area of the smaller side. So, if I was to find this front area, okay, so the area of the front of my rectangular prism would be 6 times 3, so that's going to be 6 centimeters there, and then 6 times 9, is 54 centimeters. So you notice 6 times 9 equals 54. So the area is 9 times bigger. Is that, okay? So it's 9 times the area. Okay? So the volume of the larger solid is about how many times the volume of the smaller solid? Since the scale factor is going to be 3, the volume should be 3 cubed bigger because volume is length times width times height, which would be 3 cubed. So it should be 27 times bigger. Now we can check that by finding the volume. And find the volume is length times width times height. So the volume of my small rectangular prism would be 2 times 3, which is 6 times 4, which is 24 centimeters cubed. And my larger rectangle is 6 times 9 times 12, which is 600 for 648 centimeters cubed. Okay. If I multiplied 24 centimeters cubed by 27, it would equal 648. So my answer is correct. It's 27 times larger. Hey, and that's it for this lesson.